Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, today is something a little bit different. So normally I'll do tournament vlogs. Um, today we're gonna vlog practice. And for this specific vlog, I'm going to work on solely spare. So as you've seen in my tournament vlogs, I specifically only use a spare ball when I shoot at all of my single pin spares. So I've had a lot of questions of where do you stand, where do you look, where do you throw it, um, to make sure that you can always hit that spare. And the reason why it's so imperative to constantly use your spare ball versus your strike ball is when you are on a pattern, it is extremely unpredictable to use a strike ball with your spares. So you want to use a spare ball so that way you can consistently stay that same spot standing, same spot looking, same straight up the back angle. It's the most accurate way to make your spares. It's the safest way to make your spares. And you don't have to get in your head of, oh my gosh, where do I move to transition to make this spare. So we're going to start off well, with the 10 pin. On, on the right lane, we're gonna do a 10 pin. And then the left lane, my husband's gonna choose. What do you want, baby? I don't know, whatever you want. What do you want, what do you want? Tell me thing. what you want, what you really thing. want. All right, so you're gonna see the difference between my husband and I on the 10 pin. Me being a right-hander for the 10 pin, I stand 35, I point a straight angle from 35 to 20 to the 10 pin. So my husband again crosses the same line and just Go to the other side, go to the seven pin. So for this one, I always stand 19 and I look at 23. It's a very tight angle. I literally roll it straight up, stand 19. And when I say stand, I'm saying my left foot is on 19. And I create that nice baby angle straight to the seven pin. It makes it a lot easier. It keeps my body just very tight, angled straight, and straight up again right on the hand. Um, when my husband switches over to the seven pin, I'll explain his. Obviously, he has more rotation. His body's different. He's two-handed versus one-handed, so obviously that's it's a different angle for him versus me. But I will show you how I spare this again: straight angle, standing 19 with my left foot looking at 20. and his ball hits 20 so it's the exact same thing as the 10 pin for him just reverse instead of 35 pins. so this one we picked the bucket the reason why I picked the bucket is because you you get an example of how to pick up the two pin because literally I'm exactly where I'm going to stand and throw for the two pin is exactly where I'm going to stand and throw for the bucket so I stand 19, I literally angle my body directly at 19. I'm going straight up, no rotation. Again, keeping my hand as flat as humanly possible. Naturally, we always want to turn. Sometimes we do, um, but you absolutely cannot. You want to throw it nice, straight, hard, right up 19. So I'm going to show you how that is done. My husband just picked it up behind me. Where were you standing and where were you throwing? Where were you standing and where were you throwing? He's very shy. 5 and 11, I think. So he stood 5, looked at 11, and he hooked at it. Um, okay, I see what he, he drew the line. drew the straight line. So here we go. In this game, it's called the dinner bucket. So there's four pins. I do have a sleeper. Now, most people would disagree with me here and that's quite fine. I, you know, everyone's game is different, but I still, I treat this the same as a two pin. I just, instead of looking 19 and nine, I look at 19 and eight and I literally do put a little rotation on it, but just keep my speed up. And that's personally how I experience this. Look, we have a celebrity that joined us. Hey everybody. DJ, DJ 
Olympic uh, champion. And my husband makes so fashionable. So Anthony and I got first place in the Boys Journal handicap doubles. Gotta throw that out there, not scratch handicap. But it's still out of 1,215 teams. But the coolest part was, is he got second place literally with my husband. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, he kept it in the family. He's one of those guys, you know? <laughs> um, anyways, Anthony's going to join us and show an even different take on spare shooting because we all three shoot spares completely different. So, watch. but kept it really, really hard and that's how I do it. Wow, that was literally... Okay, so for the 310, uh, I stand 30 and hit 19. So I get 30, 19, and I angle it straight at that. I sweat, almost dropped the ball. Today, 
let us know exactly what you do because I mean we're a bowling community and we all learn off of each other. So thanks again for watching and again make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.